What is going on, everybody? It's me, Dr. Nips, and I am back with episode 9 of Ocarina of Time. In our last episode, we did a mini game for her. And that way, we got a glass bottle. Um, in this episode, we will be continuing the story and learning uh, some more stuff as we go up to Goron City and follow the um, Death Mountain Trail. So. The, the coming up is why we bought the Highland Shield, which is good. So, like this thing will catch on fire. That's the next um, dungeon. It's like a fire dungeon. It's not the fire temple, but it's like um, it's called the Dongo's Cavern, and it has a little bit of fire and stuff in it, I believe. I may be wrong. So here is Death Mountain Trail. Alright, um, right here we have new enemies called Tektites. This is a red one. And you can, it's, they're really easy to beat. They die in two hits and they only do like half a heart. So. There's like four of them up here. One of them is trying to hide. But, yeah, you'll see them easily. Yeah. Um, coming up is the second dungeon as a child in this game. And after that, the rest of them are um, adult ink, so. Yeah, this, we're kind of ra wrapping it up with young ink before we progress to like, the second half of the story. This is only like one third of the whole game. Uh, so let's go and talk to him. He, this right here is called a Goron. Um, they say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Like, I like how he doesn't even ask. Uh, Impa said that the spiritual stone of fire is somewhere on Death Mountain. Um, what we're on now is called Death Mountain as well. Um, like, always around here, since the little Goron is rolling around, um, we're gonna get some lag. But you can, like, stop him and he'll give you something. I forget what it is. I think it's, like, a red tunic. Um, so you can, like, be fireproof. But these rocks will give you so many rupees and hearts and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to get up to 99. And maybe off camera I'll try to get this whole tools and stuff. Uh, I think I have some that I haven't like gotten. So, well, actually I know I have because I haven't really even got any so far. But now I have 77 rupees and I still have like two rocks, three rocks left. Three more, six more, and nine more. So dang, that's a lot. 86 rupees now. And there's also a shop here in Grand City which we're about to enter. Um, so right here is it's called Goron City, and like the race people that live here are called Gorons. So that's why they called that. In case you were wondering. Oh, so let's talk to this Goron. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. When you're in danger of extinction, it's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But it's just like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Sigh, I want to eat the top swirling rocks in the Dodongo's Cavern. Um, so what you're going to want to do is come down here. Um, these are going to be important later in the game. They're called bomb flowers and we cannot pick them up right now. And yeah, that is a big goron that's like trapped in a rock. So yeah, be watch out for him. I'm just make your way down here. And uh, go right here and play Zelda's Lullaby. Which is this? Is that it? Yeah, that is it. Like, I always get the song stuff in this game so much. But now you have access into this room where you meet one of the main characters of the game called Darunia. Um, he is like the leader of the Gorons, so here he is. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now nah, I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dungo's cavern. We had a poor harvest of our special crop bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage, but... This is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. 
So now, all you have to do is play Sorry or Song, which is. Nope, this is. I know, I know what it is. No, it's not that. There we go. And now he will start dancing crazy. Like how it's just backing up. I'm not gonna read this, like, it's kinda like crazy. <laughs> Yahoo. Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Where's there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You wanted the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you were this even a little fellow like you, can pick up a bomb flower using A. And so now we can pick up those bomb flowers that I was showing you earlier. Um, these are really easy to hit, so. Destroy them in the Dodongo's cavern and become a real man. Then we can talk about the spiritual stone. So um, that is our next goal. Uh, okay, I just, I just hit that and I didn't break it. Um, but that is our next goal is to... Um, our next goal is to uh, go to Dungeon's Cavern, so I was trying to say. Um, and right here is a shop. I believe you can throw a bomb flower on it, but I'm not sure which one to throw at it, so I'll try that really quick. And if I don't get it in like one or two tries, I'll just skip over it. Um, there's a lot of Gorons over here in this town. Now, um, right here is a secret passage to the Lost Woods, as you can hear like the music. I'll just drop that and stay here so it'll blow up. And now you can just go through there to the um, Lost Woods. It's like a little shortcut. So um, I'm looking for a bomb flower. Maybe there's one of them over here. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, here's one. Alright, so I'm gonna try to make this real fast. This is not gonna work. Wait. Oh, this actually might work. Alright, if I don't get this down, I'm just gonna skip it. I mean, it's not really big of a deal right now. There's also, there's a shop in, um, Hyrule Castle area, so or the market, whatever it's called, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, so you need to run lane. You get to run as fast as you can. Oh man, really? I just messed that up when I ran to that post. Come on. Like, after using this texture bag, I kind of forget what the real game looks like. This is creepy. Hmm. Maybe I have to do something special to open up this shop. I can't remember what it is. But. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and exit out of Grand City after we've already, since we've done what all we need to do right now. Um, to get out, you have to, like, climb up all of these stairs. So, so, it'll be a while before we can get out. There are a lot of stairs in this place. It's really easy to get off. I have 98 rupees now. Wow, I need to get a new wallet. Because the adult wallet will give you, um... It'll give you like, what's the word? 200 rupees. Anyway, I'm gonna also gonna try to stop this um thing that keeps spinning around, cause he was supposed to, he's supposed to give you something. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like the fire tunic, so you'll be fire. Okay, I don't need to go over there yet. So you'll be fireproof. Um, but I what's this place? Hmm. Sign. If you can stop my wild rolling, you might get something great. 
His name is Hot Rodder Goron. Okay, so I know how to stop him, but it's pretty hard. But since I have some time left in this episode, I might as well try it. Oh, what's this over here? It, or is this right here at the shop? No, I don't believe this is the shop right here. This is like a secret area. Oh, get out the way. That stopped him. Oh, I thought I stopped him for a second. Good. Yeah. I didn't believe that would um blow it up in the first place. Alright, so just drop it. Wait. This is probably gonna be a short episode unless I can't get him soon. Can I like, not break this one? Or do I have to like two at once or something? Oh, there it goes. Alright, so back here I believe it's like a bunch of rupees or something. Oh yeah, and another brick wall, so. Gotta get more bombs. Yeah, blow up. You better blow up for that. Oh yeah. And another one. This is weird. I don't think that this here is the, um, the shop, though. I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, drop. Roll out. There we go. Okay, that really scared me for a second. Anyway, let's beat him. I'm working on something really cool right now. But I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? So what he's showing us to do is come back whenever, um... Um, well, I have a sneeze really bad right now. So... Okay, there we go. I hope didn't mess up the sound or anything. But what he's telling you is like... I think he's going to give you like the big on sword and it's broken. So once you change it into adult link, you have to come back and get it. But yeah, I'm gonna also gonna try to stop this guy that's rolling. Oh, 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 get out of the way. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna get him whenever he comes around this time. Since he's gonna see stays on this level, it'll be pretty easy. So I have to get this right here ready to pick up after I keep him in my view. Like once he gets over there over there to where the fence starts is when I'm gonna pick it up. Must pick it up now. Oh, that's a long time. Oh, I, I just messed up from that. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Drop, 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 drop. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh. I was way off then. Okay, so maybe I just need to throw it down once, like, um, way. Well. I don't know, it's like, he goes slow through that corner, which is weird, and he might just jump up and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna try to stop him and get the reward. And I may have to have, like, use a walkthrough for the Dongo's Cavern, because that's one I don't really remember, um, that well. Oh, uh. how did I not get that? Uh, uh. Drop, get out of the way. Did I get him? How did I not get him that time? Hey, get out of the way. Oh, wait, come on. Okay, so I'm like prolonging this episode a little bit, so that's good. Because <laughs> it'll probably be like shorter than 10 minutes if I didn't. And like sometimes I don't like my episodes to be that short, um, but whenever they're like going into the long ones to be the dungeons and stuff, you know, it doesn't really bother me then. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this, um, throw it. Okay. But oh, way too early again. I'm going to follow him around with it. How about that? Yeah, I got it. That's probably, that's like the best way to do it, just follow him around with it. So let's speak to him. Why did you stop me? Don't stop me here. You can't stop my water rolling. This wild rolling is the only way to relieve my stress. No, stand it off my wild, wild roll. What? That's kind of stupid. What does, he, what does he mean? You can't stop me here. Hmm. Maybe I have to, like, set the bomb down. Or maybe I'll, like, look it up. And see what to do. That's weird. 
Yeah, I'm about to look at my phone right now. Okay, still far away. Hurry up. Grow. Drop. Now run. Man. Alright, um. Rolling. Gor. Goron. Alright. I'm looking up now. He's called like Hot Rod or Goron or something. So it's telling you. Hmm. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's telling us that we have to wait until we have bombs. So I wasted a lot of time right there. Oops. Anyway, I'm gonna try to leave. So I need some more hearts as well. Well, that's still not the right way to go. I don't even know what that's used for actually. No, wrong way. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall for a second. Alright, so now I have max rupees. So I might go back to Hyrule Market and like stock up on supplies. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna try to get some hearts out of this because I need some. Yeah, that's enough for me. Three hearts. Like, sooner in the game, or not sooner, later in the game. Three hearts won't even do nothing for you because like most enemies are take can deal three hearts, but um now we need to just throw a bomb flower down there and try to blow that big rock up. Oh, oh you got the first try, I can't believe it. Like it used to take me like twenty tries to do it. Since I have four hearts, I'm just gonna jump down right here. And that's still gonna give me damage, isn't it? Um so yeah, this here is the Dongo's Cavern. And this is where we go next. So I'm probably going to stock up on some supplies and be back next episode. So thank you for watching and goodbye.